Welcome back to Barrel and Brain. Today, we've got a craft distillery. We have St. Augustine Distillery located in St. Augustine, Florida. This one here is called the Saint. This one here is their basically their premier bourbon. It is a limited edition and it's barrel finished. It's finished in old-fashioned barrels. So they take the old-fashioned mix, put it in the barrel, and then once it's dumped out and they're emptied, they put in the bourbon. It sits in there for a few more months. This one here comes in at 16 months and 112 proof. Proofs vary from uh, batch to batch. This batch here was 300 and was done in March 2021. So I've actually had this bottle for two years, and you can see I'm kind of working on it here and there. Um, it does come in at $199, so value-wise, it's on the pricier side. And for the age it is, it's kind of high, so the value is not really quite there. But if you're looking for something different or you're trying to support your local distilleries and help the craft distilleries get up and going, um, it's a great way to do it. This one right at the gate, um, on the nose from what I've got so far on this, is I get a lot of baking spice, uh, and there is cinnamon to it, uh, and there's a little bit of sweetness that lingers in the back of it, and I think that probably is from the old fashioned mix that's kind of, you know what I mean, sat in the barrel and kind of come out in the bourbon. And there's also a slight hint of caramel, but it is slight. It's not very strong or prevalent in this one. Overall on the palate, I still get the heavy cinnamon. I still get the baking spice. The finish is right around medium. After you've had a couple sips of it, and I've actually had a little bit of this already. Uh, don't be fooled by the glass. I've actually tried a little bit already. It's uh, It does, does linger around a little bit, but it's not long. So, And it doesn't have that long-lasting finish like I've had in some in the past. Um, overall, beautiful bottle. The grainy note is not quite there. So I think the old-fashioned mix does a really well job of hiding any of the grainy notes, which you can kind of pick up on a little bit, but it's very um, hidden, I would say. So the old-fashioned kind of mix in very well. Overall, this is a very good bourbon. If you didn't know it was $199, this would be a great bourbon. Um, especially coming in at 16 months. Coming in at 16 months, I've never had too many at this age that taste as good as this stuff does. But again, the price comes into what you're paying for. Uh, limited edition uh, actually helps out with this being old, done the old-fashioned. It makes it a really great bourbon. helps balance out that grainy note. And overall, I would probably give this a 6.8. 6.8 because it is a little bit on the younger side. It's not really great value, but it does have great potential. Uh, overall, I've been happy with this bottle. Obviously, I wish I could get it cheaper, but I am really excited to see down the road how this stuff turns out, especially after the distillery has had some stocks that get up a couple more years older and they're still doing this. I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So that's my review on the St. Augustine, the Saint. Uh, if you have a chance to get down there, check the city out, stop, see the distillery. Uh, it's a beautiful area. But until then, like, comment, subscribe. And if you had a chance to try this out, I'd love to hear about it. But until then, keep hunting.